Good afternoon and welcome to Around the Tiers. I'm Steph Stoiko, and it's time to announce today's Southern Tier Tuesday's winner. Congratulations to the Danielle House. The nonprofit is being awarded $2,000 from Upstate Shredding and Adam and Clover Weitzman. And joining me now in studio is founder and executive director, Diane Stento. Thank you so much for joining me this afternoon and congratulations on winning Southern Tier Tuesdays. Tell us a little bit more about the Danielle House. Well, um, the Danielle House was uh, named in honor of my daughter, Danielle, who um, was a senior at the University of Buffalo back in 1989 and was struck down by a drunk driver critically injured. Uh, we were uh, obviously away from our home and family and, and friends, community, and uh, were there as she was in ICU for over a month. A family from the university took us into their home after eight days of being at that hospital, not leaving. I, I was too afraid to leave. Uh, we could have gone to a hotel, but there's not a lot of healing, you know, when you go from a hotel room, a hospital room to a hotel room. I did not realize how important it was to really get away from the hospital. Uh, we were involved in a lot of, um, well, Broome County stopped DWI after Danielle's accident. Uh, I, you know, Danielle had too much to give to this world. And so we got involved with Stop DWI, with children, with the schools. It was a run, run, walk for 15 years. Um, very successful, uh, but I always felt there was something else, and that has a whole story. It would take three hours, so I won't go there, but um, we never forgot what was given to us, so it's it's like, you know, receiving something, something good happened to us, and we paid it forward through Danielle House. So basically, we're a hospitality home. We take care of families who have loved ones in our area hospital, nursing homes, and, the, and medical centers. And how many rooms do you provide or, you know, families can you take in at a time at the Danielle House? We have actually eight bedroom suites, um, uh, two kitchens, three family room areas, dining room area, beautiful patio. I mean, it's a lovely home and it's right across the street from Lord's Hospital. We are independent of any hospital. Uh, we belong to a national organization, uh, HHN. Uh, Ronald McDonald House has also belonged to that, but we are also, uh, you know, as I said before, we're independent. And how can families get involved in this? Is this something that they have to sign up for? Is this something that you reach out to them for? Typically, um, <clears throat> uh, the hospitals usually are the referring uh, or doctor's offices if someone's going in for surgery. Uh, so they refer, but just in the community, we hope by now, I'm sure this will help, um, that we, we take care of people. Now, and other, you know, for the most part, people think it's just people from out of town. But out of town could be, you know, uh, Whitney Point. You know, they don't want, it's too hard for them to drive in every day. Um, we also take care of people who are going through outpatient treatment, and they can stay with us. So it's 20 years now. We just celebrated our 20th anniversary. So hopefully by now everybody knows about us. And what will you be doing with this grant money that you were awarded? Well, probably operating funds. Uh, as everyone knows, it's been a rough couple of years uh, with donations because of the pandemic. But uh, so it, it'll go towards operating for sure. And every year you hold an annual fundraiser fall festival. And I know that this year it will be a little bit different. And tell us about yeah. that. Yeah, uh, typically it was called the November Fest and we had it the first Friday of every November. We haven't done it in two years uh, at a venue. We've had it, you know, virtually. It's not the same. So this year we are gonna do something and hopefully everybody will be comfortable. It'll be called a Fall Fest, September 29th at Traditions Under the Tent. We'll have live music and you know, just have a good time. Um, tickets are $100, but we give away 20,000. And um, you know, hopefully uh, Danielle House will receive close to 30 and then we do the baskets and silent auction and all of that. Well, thank you so much for joining me this afternoon. Sure. Congratulations again on winning Southern Tier Tuesdays. Thank you. I'll get some more details to you now. In the spirit of helping others in need, the Danielle House offers a temporary, safe, and home-like atmosphere for patients, families, and loved ones, and for outpatients seeking rest during a medical crisis. The Danielle House opened its doors in 2002 as a way to return to others what was given to them. In 1989, when their daughter Danielle was struck by a drunk driver. Each year, the Danielle House hosts their annual fundraiser, November Fest, and this year it will be a fall fest held on Thursday, September 29th at Traditions at the Glen. To get in contact with the Danielle House, you can visit the website that's provided.